Jim Moore at UCLA, another first-year coach. It's playing very well. The Bruins are impressive offensively and defensively. Now they have Oregon State, the team, of course, that beat Wisconsin. And, and now it's in Pasadena where UCLA, every man, woman, and child, the Bruins starting to get excited about the <laughs> offense with Hunley and Franklin. I mean, I'm telling you, UCLA. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. You're silly. Uh, every man, woman, and child, all 45, 50,000 of them will be ready, and they'll be, they'll be trying to make that an intimidating atmosphere. Uh, but I'll tell you this, Chris, I, I might, it might be premature, but I like what I see from UCLA. With USC losing, doesn't the South all of a sudden get interesting this week with some of these matchups? And UCLA right now, offensively, they're playing ball. I just don't think we know enough about Oregon State. I mean, I know they beat Wisconsin, but how good is Wisconsin right now? And they beat them 10-7. to 7. I think the Bruins right now, you better jump on them early because I think this team is for real. I think Rick Neuheisel left enough behind. Jim Mora's brought in a, a kind of a new swag, new attitude. Noel Mazzoni's doing it on offense. Uh, I think this UCLA team is for real, and I think they take care of business Saturday. And can we get some fans? Can somebody, like, bring some people out to the Rose Bowl and let people know that the Bruins are, are, are doing a good job there? They're catching on. They're catching on. It's going to be Jonathan Franklin, who's the leading rusher in the country and also number one in all-purpose yeah. yards, challenging the defense that really did shut down Monte Ball earlier.